the oh, Mr. Speaker, here's what's offensive. In the last three years, Foreign Affairs has cut $148 million for security upgrades at embassies. These security upgrades, they're not a luxury. The department itself called them urgent. Let's never forget, we lost a diplomat, Glenn Berry, in Afghanistan. And we saw the devastation in Benghazi when U.S. Uh, diplomats were attacked by extremists. So the question is, why is this government putting the lives of our brave men and women on the line? These are the facts of his own department, $148 million that was cut. He can't deny those facts. that the security of our men and women, Mr. Speaker, involved with our diplomatic offices around the world are number one priority, and to suggest anything else has been completely false, Mr. Speaker. We will go forward and we will ensure, as we have in the past, to continue their safety and security. The Honourable Member for Ottawa Mr. Speaker, today many Canadians were asking themselves this question. Who is the actual Minister of Foreign Affairs? It wasn't the actual Minister of Foreign Affairs, after all, who greeted the Queen at Canada House. It was the former member from Ottawa, West Nepean. Would the actual Foreign Affairs Minister please stand up and explain why John Baird was playing Minister in London? I've inadvertently used the proper name of the member for Ottawa West of PM, uh, so the Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs is rising next. I want to. What's that? He is, yes, yes, yes. The Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. The renovations to Canada House, this is a testament to the enduring relationship between the United Kingdom and Canada. We can all be very, very proud for that. And I'll tell you something else I'm proud of. I'm proud of it, Mr. Speaker. I'm very proud that the member for Ottawa West Nepean, a privy councillor and an outstanding foreign affairs minister, was there to open this house on behalf of Canada. <laughs>